G'day guys and welcome to another video. We are here with the JZX 100. I did a whole video the other day on this car and a bunch of the mods that I did that have made this thing a much, much better car and I lost all the footage and I'm super bummed about it. That's why I haven't picked up the camera for two days. But what I did do is take this car drifting yesterday at the track. Didn't film any of it. I had a few clips I can chuck in here. We went out and we had some fun. Scraped the wall with it, but just, you know, had a good drive, you know, not a, nothing too crazy. It was a nice wet day. So I was like, didn't have to change tires or anything. The 370Z windscreen was just fogging up too much to the point where I couldn't drive. So I figured I would take this Johnny out for a rip and yeah, did a wall tap. So not really, much i have to fix from the wall tap point of view but what did happen while i was drifting it knocked i didn't hit anything but the real real alignment came out if you know your jzx's they have the centric bolts there that like to um basically when you do clutch kicks and stuff they like to come loose and sort of spin so a little bit of an alignment issue and i figured while i'm dealing with an alignment issue i may as well go ahead and get the new arms in so frosty went ahead and um extended my lcas for me barely even know they've been done so they're done got the knuckles to go in so i'm going to be replacing these weird ones that i just personally don't like they've they felt fine you know what i mean like there's nothing inherently wrong with them i just don't like more bolts than are needed on a, a daily driver you know i figure you know, there's nothing to really go wrong here from a sense. It's just your, your basic stuff and less hassles than this stuff potentially coming loose and losing the end of your lower control arm, which would suck. So first things first, so I really want to fix up my rear bar because I'm a dumb dumb and rub the wall. When I rub the wall, I pulled a screw through. So I need to fix up a screw or two on this bumper. So there and sort of stuffed it up in there my bad so i'll just get some washers and some new bolts screws i mean and sort that out first all right we've gone ahead and fixed the body kit just put basically bigger washer up in there to hold it and then another screw down here and a better one up the top there to make it all sweet so you guys know we did the muffler but the other thing which i hadn't told you guys about yet well, I did tell you guys about, and I lost all the footage. I got a dump pipe for the car. So we have a full uh, turbo dump pipe on the car now. Uh, it's a really nice setup. I bought it locally here in Australia. Um, it has the flexi in there, which I'm stoked on. Nice flexi. It's a pretty good build. I don't have gaskets in any of these. Um, so that's where all my exhaust leaks are now. So that's something I need to to tend to basically i just need to go pick up a bunch of three inch um gaskets and then get them in there and tighten everything back up again and then i'll have no leaks um anyway the other thing i was talking about 
was up the front here with the typical uh, JZX thing they like to do. Well, it might have been the front that moved, not the rear. There we go. I think that might be where our issue is. So what I was thinking, these love to spin on a JZX. So when they spin, you basically knock your car out of alignment. And um, yeah, happens on big clutch kicks and things like that. Big bumps, if you hit big bumps, it can do it. So there's a few different things that it could have been, but my, um, yeah, my rear end's definitely out of alignment. So I need to fix it up. All right, now we got the rear out of the way. I, I gave it an eyeball alignment. Like obviously after I do the front here, I'm gonna be able to get this thing back off to a proper alignment. Um, but first things first, I gotta rip the whole lower control arm out of this, which is basically this bolt here, coil over, sway bar, ball joint. Well, I'll probably just take it straight from there. And then obviously the tie rod, tie rod end as well. A little bit to do and go ahead and smash it out and get these newer ones on. And yes, I was making videos, completely forgot. Just got under the pump, got it smashed out. Um, the control arms are in now. I've got the alignment as sort of, as good as I can for now. Um, I'm gonna give a phone call to a mate now and uh, see if I can get this thing on the alignment rack and get it all aligned up. I did go a smidge higher on the front because the car had settled. Um, so I'm probably like a centimeter higher than it was like yesterday. Um, but back to like the original height that I set the car at. So, um, should be good. I'll be happy. I think I'll be happy with where it'll be. Um, you know, to get it out in the sunlight now. Go and wash my hands and have some breakfast. I haven't even had breakfast yet. All right. So I got everything sorted. When I got a wheel alignment, as usual, my, uh, eye alignment was pretty decent, but, um, we've, uh, got everything situated. Front end sitting a touch higher. It looks worse at the moment because of the way my driveway is. Um, front is a touch higher now, but it's going to be better for daily driving. I think that's probably a better example. I don't know. Either way, it's not too bad, the height. Um, you now I was talking about earlier about the stuff that I filmed, but then it all got stuffed up because I didn't, uh, well, I lost the footage. Um, we got the dump pipe, which you can't see from at the top here. The other thing we did is go ahead and get an aluminium radiator. So eBay spec aluminium radiator I it's as far as I'm aware it's made a really good difference I took thing drifting yesterday temps are actually colder than driving it with the AC on daily so um, I think the cooling's really working quite well um, so I'm super happy you know the fans could be better they actually overhang and probably aren't as efficient as efficient as they could be but overall pretty happy with progress on the 100 so far so yeah big alloy rad everything else is pretty yeah like i said you can't see the dump pipe from the top but assure you the full dump pipe in there now it makes like an extra two psi of boost um with the dump pipe in there because there's just more flow and i don't know if it'll still be in my bin but my old dump pipe was literally about to die it was broken like very broken yeah it's under stuff but yeah very broken next things for the hundred window tint window tint I'm sick of being in a fishbowl huh i'm sick of being in a fishbowl yeah it feels like yeah what were you laughing at oh boston almost setting the house on fire you oh yeah i haven't seen that yet yeah. um got this little mark from uh drifting because you know I took the daily drifting. Mm -hmm. You're showing the mark on my car that you did? No, nah, no, we don't need to do that. 
we can uh, go see where Boston nearly caught the house on fire though. Mm -hmm. So what's the issue anyway? What did he try and do? Uh, oh, wow, yeah. what the hell? Yeah, so it was on fire. Oh. It was actually on fire and I ran over, sorry, I haven't done the dishes from this morning, but like, so he tried to cook garlic bread with the alfoil still around it. Yeah, and it actually exploded a hole. Oh. Yeah. Well, he's five. He didn't know. <laughs> At least one of us were home. Yeah. That would have sucked. Yeah. Um, so that was scary. So he screamed and then, because I was in a lounge room with Scarlett, and then he ran over there. He actually ran into the bedroom. Looking for you? No, he knew where I was. I think oh. he ran to hide because he was scared of what happened. Oh. And I'm like, what's going on? And he ran out. And he's like... Where's Bossy? He's like, I tried to heat the garlic bread up. And, and it took me a second. I'm like, Ed? And I was like, oh no, garlic bread, foil, microwave. Uh -huh. And then I looked in and it's on fire. Bossy, did you make a fire? How did that happen? So you know what not to do now, huh? Yeah. So never put the metal in there. Put okay. it in an oven. Microwave, same, same. Well, no, because you can put foil in an oven. Well, fine. yeah, that's true. Um, another new addition, I got uh, got the kids a crazy cart. So I'm going to give it a smash now, I think. Send it. Take your feet off. Okay. Take your feet on. <laughs> 